Welcome to the first part of my tutorial series on how to do a complex lot based inventory system. In this video we will create our project, set up a folder structure and import some textures to use later on. By the way, if you want to see the finished project, check out the showcase video on my YouTube channel. But now let's get started. Head over to new project and under blueprints you can choose the template you want to start with. I will use the top down template because there is already a character inside that can walk around and our mouse is set up to be shown. Also make sure that starter content is enabled and now you can give your project a name. I would just call mine tutorial. Hit create project. While your project is loading you can download the inventory system textures pack on mediafire.com. I will put the download link in the description. Alright, once your project is loaded, click this little button on the left to show the source panel. Now go to content and right click anywhere to create a new folder. Call this one inventory system. Since we will only work inside of this folder you can right click on it and set its color to something bright like yellow. Double click on the folder and inside here we will create four new ones. The first one will be called blueprints. The second one drag and drop. third one will be textures and the last one will be called widgets. Now inside of our textures folder we will create a new folder called item icons. Drag the engine to the right of your screen and open up the texture pack you just downloaded. As you can see there is an inventory button texture here and a folder of item icons. First we will grab the inventory button and drag it inside of our textures folder. Then we will open up the item icons, open up the icons here, select all three of them by holding shift down and clicking and drag them inside here. Another thing we'll have to do is to change the texture settings. So go inside of your textures and on our inventory button double click and choose texture group UI and for the compression settings user interface. Also make sure to save the texture. To speed up the process I will select all of our icons in the item icons folder, right click and asset actions bulk edit via property matrix. And in here you can go to level of detail and change the texture group to UI and the compression to user interface. Hit Ctrl S to save all of them. And that's it for today's episode. In the next video we will build up our item classes. See you then.